This is a video that I wasn't really sure how I wanted to address this. I'll just give you the whole story. Because we thought we had like a new friend in Moab. We'll hang out with Rory. And, and we had no idea what trail mater was or who Rory was. We're out in Moab. We have an axle shaft break. The U-joint snaps. Okay, so today we thought we would come and scout out a new camp. And we're kind of far from Moab at our current camp. Snow drifts over the road. I knew it, man. to the dry, I'm like seven feet short of It's fun when you actually make it. I, I think I broke my axe. Uh, maybe you can winch me right back out of here in my own okay. tracks. We don't need a tow. We're gonna drive it out. That looks like the hole into my drive shaft. That axle shaft's done. It's gonna need a whole new axle shaft. We put a post out um, for all of our followers to try to help us out. Well, we got a few different people that said, Try Moab Motorsports. Rory's the guy's name. He owns a shop. And right as I'm kind of going through that, I get a text message from Matt at Matt's Off Road Recovery who says exactly the same thing. So I'll give this guy a call. And at this point, I was kind of at my wits' end anyway because we had literally looked all over for an axle shaft for a 21 JLU and nobody had one, which you're like thinking in Moab, there's no axle shafts? Really? It's crazy. I call Rory. Literally on the phone, he says, I think I got one laying right here. Hey, Rory. Hey, Matt Wetzel gave me your number. Uh, I'm in town filming some videos for our YouTube channel, and uh, we're kind of up shit creek here. We broke an axle. Is that something maybe you'll have laying around there? <laughs> yeah, I guess you would need that. It's a 21 uh, JLU Rubicon, and the front passenger axle oh man that's a relief I I've literally looked everywhere for one of those oh man okay what do you want for that thing oh man your lifesaver okay yeah all right, I'll text you when we're headed that way. Okay. Yeah, we, if we can, if you've got a spot out there, we can just uh, maybe out there in the drive or something, uh, replace that thing out. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay. All right, thanks a lot, Roy. We'll see you soon. Okay, bye. I'm like, you have to be kidding me. I thought like, oh man, this is great. And the very next thing that I asked him was, what do you want for that thing? As in, how much money do I need to pay you to buy the axle shaft? And his very next words were, just come over here and talk me out of it. Now, I'm from Missouri, I'm not from Utah, but when somebody says, come over here and talk me out of it, that kind of means like, come over, we'll bullshit, and at this point, I had told Rory that Matt from Matt's Offroad Recovery had been the one that gave me his name. Not thinking anything into any of that anymore, I said, great, thank you so much. We'll be on our way as soon as we can. You know, we worked out of time. We went over to his shop and we did exactly that. Here's the phone call. Here's the footage. Here is everything that happened. I'm being as open 
of a book as I possibly can, which if you follow our YouTube channel, you know that that's how we are all the time, every time. Um, there's no behind the scenes or hidden curtains. We put it all out there. And that's what people appreciate about our channel. So, love me or hate me, you know me. I mean, I, I don't say one thing and do another. We go to Rory's shop, Moab Motorsports. Rory uh, is there. He says, yeah, man, um, I think that Axel's just out there in that JL. From the time we asked him if we could film on his property, and he said yes, is the footage that we have. So we came out here. Rory has this brand new Jeep Wrangler that somebody just rolled a few days ago. And he's like, I think you can just snag the front axle out of that. So sure enough, it's in it. And we're going to snag this out. He's kind enough to let us use his lot. And we're probably going to try to just take care of it all here and get right back on the road. If it'll fit. I was just looking at your tow rig out there. I'm trying to understand how you own a Jeep and a YouTube channel and you don't know me or that truck. I don't. I, well, I mean, I think I've seen it in that video, if I remember right. Is that a Chevy? Yeah. I, I'm almost sure I've seen that. We're at 200,000 subscribers and everybody that owns a Jeep knows me or that truck. So I'm blown away. Well, here's you two Jeep owners that have it. <laughs> but I have seen that truck in one of his videos. Yeah, I've been in more than a few of that video. <laughs> It didn't hit me until they were out there looking at it and I went over there, but it's like um, the inclines were really bad. You damn near were like wheeling out of the gully down. That's there. probably fab rats. Uh, okay. Yeah, we our our trucks get confused a lot. Okay. Just needs to drive in now, doesn't it? I think it's in. Does it feel loose at all? Like those gears are jacked. Torque's back now. The slop sounds normal, but whatever that little noise up here doesn't sound quite right. I'm um, like the clicking. Guess we can get that cover off and look at it. That's not good. I don't like that. I just heard a chunk of something. Yeah. This little dude here rides on this. And that needs to be uh, much more solid than what is left. I'm sure these are cheap. I bet I know where they're going back. <laughs> <laughs> I bet if there is, I just like you more and more as I talk. I was going to say, you don't need a creeper. Huh? <laughs> just bring it up higher. <laughs> I like your I oil. I think it'd be too hard. Oil pot? Yeah, your oil pot. Yeah, yeah everything should be. There is all sorts of chunks of shit. I think that's normal. Though. The remnants of that uh, little shaft. Just empty every pocket. Uh -huh. What they say? Well, I guess uh, let's go look at that one and we'll see if it's. You'll need a... Cut off, just clean everything out of there. Yeah, you'll be good. What's you cooking there? Oh, cancer. I had no idea who Rory was, and um, I guess I wouldn't have anyway because his YouTube channel is different than the name of his business. Anyway, he's got a YouTube channel. If you don't already watch him, check it out. I mean, he's bigger than us, so... I mean, it's yeah. gotta be better. It's gotta be better. Anyway, it's just crazy, but I knew we should have come here because if we would have just come here, got the axle and went back, we would have put it on and still had problems. But we've come here, got the axle, went to put it in. There's all kinds of broken shit inside of this little piece before the diff, and he's got it all. Oh, shit. I hope I can get in there with this. We're gonna have to jack it up a little bit then. That's still a solid piece. 
I think so. Sweet. Dude. Pretty awesome. Okay. Uh, we'll be out here a while and we're doing we're trying to do 20 badge fails in 30 days. That's what we're doing. Like, no. no, they're in my shop. Yeah. <laughs> Do it all together. <laughs> Who's the owner of this Jeep? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Everything's going good. We're talking in the shop. His film guys come in. They film us a little bit. We film them a little bit. Upon digging into our axle shaft issue, we pull it apart. We find that um, there's a little actuator clip or something that's broken. Rory literally says, I know a place where you can get some of these. Uh, they're not going to do me any good. And we're like, okay, great. Man, I'm like, man, I love this guy. He's, he's a great guy. Uh, let us use his shop. Let us do all these things. We're filming here. He's filming here. He's asking us about what we're doing in Moab on the film. Uh, we'll do a little collab video. Off-road recon. Ben and Brandy is, is our name now. But everybody knows this is off-road recon. Okay. But we're trying to do... 20 Jeep badge trails in 30 days. And the two hot spots are Utah and Colorado. So I yeah. figured we'd start here. No. Check this out, it broke this, Mike. Oh, I don't even know, know what that piece is, but it broke, what do you call that? <laughs> Lifter Swifter? Yeah. It kind of looks like a hot dog broke. Splitter right in here. Huh. 50 yeah. hot dogs on that thing yeah, right there. Okay. <laughs> Just so happens, we have a Rex JL out back. Probably from right near where you broke. <laughs> <It's> close. <laughs> yeah. it's pretty close. So now I don't have JL axles. <laughs> we've officially taken everything off the front axle. Yeah, we did fix some things the first day we were here. We've only been here a couple of days. Can you go and purchase it? We haven't done that. No. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll do yeah, that. If you want to hit 20 bad genre trails, we can knock them all right out, right? All right. Here. 11 here, and then what is it, six down in Silverton? Mm -hmm. I think so. so. I think six in Colorado total, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll get close between those two. Nice. We brought. Why that, oh, that is so easy? <laughs> I think we called probably 50 places before we before we got uh, somebody got back to us about this. Yeah. And we were getting ready to drive to uh, was it Grand Junction? Yeah. Okay. So we just left Moab Motorsports. Super nice guys. We couldn't have done it without their shop and without their parks. And like they hooked us up all the way around and it cost me a handshake. So the off-roading community is pretty awesome. Now he also told us of a camp spot up in the mountains here. So we're gonna head that way and see if we can find it. Find a good place to call our home for the night. Everything's going great. We finished the project up. Um, I shake his hand, tell him thanks a lot for the parts, thanks a lot for letting us do this. Let's go hit a trail tomorrow or in the following days and we'll go out and do some of these badge trips. He agrees, everything's good. Um, we leave the shop within a day or two. I text him, hey, you guys want to hit some trails, this and that. Don't get a response. Begin, no response. Uh, we needed a part shipped to somewhere in Moab text him about that he kind of got short about it but said we could I didn't quite understand that and my only assumption now looking back at all this at the time I just thought well the guy's super busy I remember talking to Brandy about it like uh, he just he's probably got a lot going on they're probably filming so I didn't think much of it well then one of our followers reaches out to me and sends me a, a, a screenshot of him talking trash about us with the whole axle shaft story, which I was completely oblivious to that there was even any issues between him and I. Here I was, I'd been contacting him as if he's my new go-to buddy in Moab. Um, and I even called him one night when we were having issues on a trail and he like walked me through some technical stuff to get up a, a trail. Like, so face to face, we never had any issues. Not once. I went by his shop several times. I talked to him several times. Never once face to face did he ever say, hey man, maybe you, uh, you know, I was hoping I could get a couple hundred bucks for that axle shaft. But here's the kicker, and here's just my assumption of what happened. He thinks that some big time YouTuber is going to be able to bring him YouTube views and bring him publicity and bring him all these things, which is why he just gave me 
the axle shaft. And when he found out that our YouTube channel was smaller than his, I think he flip-flopped. And I think he held some resentment on giving free parts away. And then I wasn't maybe going to be able to give him the YouTube subscribers that he wanted in return. I, I just felt like when he posted this comment, and I'll put it back up on the screen, and then right below it, there's likes and, and things and people commenting. There's no way for me to share my voice on that page because I wasn't a member of the page yet. And if you notice right below it, it says my post is pinning, nobody can see it. So what I did is a man should do, you confront situations and I tried to uh, reach out to Rory. First I sent him a text message saying like this is absolutely unbelievable, I would be glad to pay you for the axle shaft. I've never heard back. After that, I tried to call him. I'll roll the clip here of that. This is Rory Harris. Please leave a message and I'll call you back as soon as I can. Hey Rory, it's Ben. Uh, apparently we had a complete misunderstanding on what everything was going down when I was there. Uh, I mean, I specifically asked you what you wanted for that axle shaft before I even came to your shop. And your exact words were just come on over here and get it from me and talk me out of it. Now, in my neck of the woods, that means like you're doing a good deed and you're going to give somebody something or help somebody. And then literally while we were filming at your shop, you let us use your shop and I thanked you for giving me the parts and and like we left on a handshake I reached out to you several more times while I was in town talked to you called you and then literally we get out of town and you're on like a public forum bad mouthing me I don't even understand I have no problem paying you for your axle shaft so let me know what you need and we'll PayPal you the money because that's not what we do and I'm surprised that this is even happening so let me know what you want to do bye Not surprised that it only rang once, went straight to voicemail. Still no response. We're going on a week now, and I still haven't heard back from him. I found out from one of our followers that he was posting on a page that I'm not a part of about me, badmouthing me. It's just crazy. Like, who does that? I, I have no idea. You guys tell me what you think. But I felt like we needed to make this video to defend whatever reputation that we already have considering it was already being tarnished by the message that he put which then after that another guy reached out to me that I don't even know and said this isn't the first time that they've seen Rory ragging on people in these groups and they just pretty well disregard it nowadays anyway I hope this clarifies everything for you guys let me know in the comments what you think what would you have done and I don't know Rory reach out man uh, I wouldn't mind paying you for the axle shaft if that's really what this is all about. So, I'd like to clear it up. Also, I don't want to forget to tell you that I'm literally running all over Utah telling everybody how great this guy is and how much he's been such a great help to us. Meanwhile, he's thinking negatively about us and talking shit about us behind our back. He did that. We're on like Google reviews, giving him good reviews, talking about him on Facebook, spreading the word, posting pictures out in front of his business. And like, here I am thinking that I'm helping this guy out and he's helping me out and I'm doing the things that I can do. When meanwhile, literally, he's saying the opposite about us. It's just, the whole thing was just so crazy. And I can't tell you how many people we ran into and we talked about how great Rory and his shop was, Moab Motorsports, and how we couldn't have done it without him. And I don't want anybody to take from this that I wasn't thankful for any of this because I still am. To this day, I couldn't have made it um, out of there without the axle shaft that I got from Rory and the help uh, with the other parts. So, like, I do appreciate that and I'm thankful for it. I don't know where we're at now. We're at quite the crossroads. Um, but bygones can be bygones. I just felt like we needed to be able to defend ourselves and this is the only platform that I would know to do that. So, it is what it is. All right.